Hello everybody, welcome to a new tutorial on Full Pockets DG Keys. In this video, we're going to go through the common controls that you find on the first page. So let's start. As you can see here, I have loaded the DG Keys inside the AUM as an audio source. So on the top left, you find um, these controls, these visual controls that gives you um, the amplitude of the sound okay and it will show you also here when a sound goes to pick which is useful useful for you to then decrease um, um corresponding volumes and values you have a panic button which is always useful to have particularly when you have problems like stuck note here on the right hand side you can create a new song when you create a new song you can decide if you want to do to use the local internal synth or sounds if you want to use the digi keys as a midi or if you want to actually use both so in this case let's say that i want to use the local sound it will ask you to enter a name so like in this case a sound for more test we press enter and then you click on create and the song will be created and you click ok again you can load the song and you can select a song like this one which I just created and will load it for you. You can save a song. If you save a song, it will ask you again to enter the name. You press enter. You click save. It will say it already exists. You click yes and you move on. And you click OK to confirm that the song has been successfully saved. You can delete the song. You click on delete. Then you select the song you want to delete. And then you confirm yes or no. In this case, I say no. You have a help button here, which is very useful, where you can go through the help of DG Keys. Next, we have an output um, section here. You can enable or disable um, DG Keys. You see when it's disabled that uh, the um, amplitude or uh, these visual controls are actually off. Change the color. Let's turn them on. And you can change also the final output here. Okay. So... Um, <coughs> Now, you have a graphic EQ here, and before we go into it, let's um, enter something here on the editor, like, for example, a clap here, okay, or perhaps actually a snare instead of a clap. We'll just click on that under the step one here, snare, and just click on there, and I will explain how everything works in the next tutorials. So, as I said, we have a graphic EQ here, which um, you can use to change uh, the gain at different frequencies. And, and I'll come back to these in a second. On the left-hand side, you have tempo and synchronization. So, this is where you can decide to run DigiKeys internally without being synchronized to the AUM tempo. So, in this case, you can see it's not enabled, but you can also enable it, change the color here to blue. Okay, if it's not enabled, in order to kick to play with digi keys, you have to come here to the transport control and click play. And you can see it is uh, playing now. Now, let's stop there. Let's move right at the top and let's click host syncs. In this case, it will be hosted to the sync and then um, you have to click play here on the navigation transport control of AOM. Now, if the host sync is on, you cannot change the tempo because you have to change the tempo through AUM. If instead you want to change the tempo yourself, of course, disable the host sync. And of course, use the internal transport controls. And then you can use this control to change the tempo. Like so. Click Click host sync again, it will disable the internal transport control and now you can use again the AUM controls. Okay, here is where you enable the metronome. And here you set the level of the metronome in terms of volume. So you want to be crazy, for example, if you find it annoying or it's too loud. So going back to the graphic EQ, here you can enable it, just clicking on that. You have some default um, here preset. For example, you want to be able to boost um, 
the base, you click on that and it will make the corresponding changes. You see here are different frequencies on the top, sliders to increase or not the gain, which is shown underneath in terms of decibel. So you can also change it yourself like so. And let's click play. You can go back to um, previous settings, it's like a reset button, click on this arrow. And as I said, you have different preset you can choose. Okay, so just play with that and let's disable now. Next and finally for this uh, uh, tutorial, for this video, we have um, here the global effects. So let's disable them for now. And as we you put uh, a snare on this first step here for the first track, um, let's go um, to the track here setting where it says effect and output. We click on it and we ensure that uh, the send to delay, reverb and chorus are set to max so that then you can hear the difference as I apply, I apply the different effects. So let's start with the simple one which is this chorus which is not only a chorus. So for uh, both free controls you have the level at the bottom which you can increase or decrease like so and you can also enable them or disable them individually. So let's click enable on this first one here on the third one actually not the first one and the moment is set to chorus so let's click play You can hear the difference. If you click on chorus, you can choose other type of effects like Celeste, Flanger, uh, Type 1 and Flanger Type 2. Okay, next let's enable the reverb, which is very simple as well. You can hear that it's been enabled. If you click on edit, you can change the room size and you can also change the a uh, low pass filter which enable you to dump a little bit higher frequency. So let's try. Like so. Very straightforward. So let's stop that now. Let's disable it. And the last uh, effect I want to show you is the delay. Let's enable it. Let's click on edit. And here you can, as you can see, you have your left channel, also your right channel in terms of how to set the delays. You have delays in terms of tempo, your feedback, how long it will uh, last as a, as a delay and the full feedback, and then your flutter effect. Uh, sometimes I prefer to call that as a butterfly effect. Um, and here you have some default setting. So let me try. So let's enable this. Let's make it faster. If you set it to no or to none, here, then you can choose individually to change the uh, tempo for each channel. So for in this case, it could be very, very short on both channels. Or for example, left channel short and the right channel much longer. You can change the feedback. So let's make it shorter. So it will, it will close uh, very quickly. And let's set this to medium. This sometimes is not very easy to uh, to hear, but you can have a flutter effect as well. Okay, that is how much I wanted to show you in this uh, uh, video. So I'll see you at the next one where we'll start to talk about the mixer. Thank you. Bye.